Hello everyone, my name is Maria and today we will be playing Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Last time we helped Blind Bob with his favorite wine so he could tell us where Magda is but it appears that he doesn't know where she is so we need to find another woman and maybe she will help us. So now we need to go to this woman. I almost remember where she's supposed to be because Bob mentioned that she's near the keep and I remember seeing keep somewhere up. So I think I'm probably going in the right direction. This woman wasn't here last time, so I'm almost sure this is it. Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Baby? I wonder what the deal is with her baby, Magda. Blind Bob. I mean, she wants to talk about the baby, so let's encourage her somehow. What happened to your baby? Are you a spook? Do you dangle? Never fraternize with spooks, Clara. They can eat your soul. I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm not a spook. But you do dangle. I do? I honestly don't know. Dangle from their necks, the murderers do. Mind you stay good, Clara, or you dangle too. And then you turn into a spook. Oh, no, I don't dangle. I'm alive, see? Ah, uh, no! Clara has been bad. She must be punished. No, please, no, it burns. Pretty thing, pretty thing. No more, please, no more. God, I'm... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to... Are you okay? My baby, my beautiful baby. All gone, all gone. Sleep now, beautiful. Everything will be better in the morning. I'm sorry, Flower, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, Clara. So, you lost something? Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net, just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's Klaus. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? All right, so a pet she's talking about is probably in the ghetto. Let's check our journal. Oh, do you see that the style of a journal changed because now we are in a different world? I think it's really cool detail. Okay, let's see the last entry. I hope you don't mind that we are not reading all of this because basically it describes what we are doing in the game, so it should be alright. 
Okay, I found crazy Clara, but she's not being very communicative. She misses her baby, a pet of some kind, which, as far as I can tell, was taken by the soldiers and put in a cage. If I help get Clara's baby back, maybe she'll go uncrazy and tell me where to find Mr. Magda. Of course we will help her, why not? Okay, do we have any clue who that might be? I mean, what what kind of pet? Mm, I don't see any like toys or anything so let's just go and try to find that out i wonder what's the best solution here like i don't think soldiers would help us maybe maybe we'll just see something fish, snap jaws, flat rays, doors, maybe they know something fish. let's see this woman wasn't here my father Best and I are visiting Malkyria for the day. The we live up north, Best in the farmlands in west of the forest. The it's not often that I get to see the city. Hey, Fish, you don't know anything? Jaws, Do you know anything? Ugh. Wait. I'm pressing, yeah, I'm pressing Ugh. this one. Fish. That must be the south gate. Get south gate. Fresh from the ocean. She said westlings. If this is a south gate, there should be a north gate. There should be west gate. Probably. And she said Westlings. So maybe we need to find Westgate. It's some kind of steam technology with lots of gears and levers. It must be pretty new, seeing as it's all shiny still. Yeah, it is shiny. Okay, let's talk. Hi. The ghetto's closed by order of the office of the emissary. Yeah, I think we really need to go into the ghetto. The south gate was where all the business from the harbour came through. Nowadays, that's over by the new harbour, by the west gate. Yeah, there is a west, west gate. Okay, we need to go to the west gate. And hey, you can't go in there. Huh. That tells me that we need to go in there. And I bet this animal has something to do with it, because why... <gasps> no way I found it. So fast. Wait, um, I'm not going, I'm just looking. It's a, is it an owl? I think so. Did I really find it that fast? I'm, I'm impressed so far. I still can't get over the music puzzle thingy. It's a merchant. Okay, can we talk to her? Maybe we can like take meat or fish and give it to this creature so it would be distracted or something the azadi have brought us peace and prosperity so what if there are soldiers everywhere i think it's a small price to pay all right let's go to this guy can i this market used to be crowded before the azadi closed these gates now most people go to the west gate. Oh, he's... Fish! I'm just snap looking jaws, at him. Flatbeds, dorsk, get your fresh fish! Why his cheeks are so red? Okay, that's not important. Wait! Oh, we already talked, I think. Okay, what get should I do fish, with this thing? Okay, now it stopped. <gasps> Maybe I can just kind of hide behind it wait i have an idea i don't think it will work but let's see hello officer not officer but like the god can you stand here just stop okay all right i'll wait I won't be that quick. Maybe I just need. <gasps> wait, wait, wait! Oh my God! Really? It's that, that easy? That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. Oh, it's not an owl. It's like a chinchilla. We helped two animals. Ok, 
Okay, I think the little creature just went straight to Clara. And that's exactly what we are going to do. I'm surprised I found it that fast, really. I'm on fire in this game. I just bet you that that will be like the easiest thing in the world and I will spend half an hour with it. Hey! Oh. Hi. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt not soup. Our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup, too. Down where? The market? We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market, from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, OK? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. But wait. We spoke to her. I remember it was the first person in the market we spoke to. Why? What, what was that conversation about? I, I don't remember what we were talking about, but I know that we spoke. So all this time it's this lady. Really. Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? Magda? No, thank you. Are you Minstrom Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I I'm just looking for Minstrom Magda. I don't know any Minstrom Magda. There are no Minstrom in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... that Minstrom... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? Innkeeper, Clay, Crazy Clara, Blind Bob? I mean... It was Innkeeper. The Innkeeper at the Journeyman. Oh? And who would that be? <laughs> they want to see if I remember her name, but I do. It's Ben Rime. Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um... Not from around here. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. All right, we need to find out how to come back home. Okay, Minstrom. No, let's not push her on that. We know that in this world, magicals are not welcomed exactly. So I think it's somehow related to that. Let's just ask for her help. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? 
Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. So there's nothing you can do for me? Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. All right. Wait, we need to find April. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. Wait, we need to find... we need to find the boy um, who was fighting with, with April and he was eating soup at Ben Remus. Yeah, we need to find him. Okay. Uh, I just want to go home. Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it, and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Alright. Uh, ghetto. I mean, I think I got what it is, and Azadi also. Okay, I think we need more information about the Azadi and then we will go yeah and then we will go and try to get into the ghetto who are the Azadi? they are our protectors and our guests they helped liberate Mercuria from the tyrant armies ten years ago and then they decided to stay so the city's under occupation? not at all and you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. I like how she's saying everything without actually saying it. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Hey. <gasps> hey. Yeah. That's the person we need. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Yeah, who told you... Oh, wait, weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name. April Ryan. Yeah. You know her. I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? 
You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from... from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean, how do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up and drag me into a basement somewhere? I... promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to... Ri to April. Hmm. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise no basements. Come on. Okay. Let's Come on. Go. Hurry up. I am. Stay close. Okay. This is it. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Something is wrong. Now. Really? <laughs> Careful, Chuan. She's a screamer. Raven will be pleased that we bagged us a spy. I'm asking about you. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There is something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But I... Bryn, come. Now. Fine. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. <gasps> so, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... in the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to fight them. And all the time I was saying to myself, It's just a dream, Zoe. Just a dream. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learned to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. Once you learn how, it's like blinking. With your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least... I don't think I was. It's... fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. 
and I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been receiving this strange message, like a, I don't know, a vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house and a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? How? Through dreams? No. No, on screens. It's like... like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl... she led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie down on that bed, and I'll be right back. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already, because I'm fighting a war, and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes, breathe slowly, don't speak, listen to Na'ane's voice. Ne'an, amam, ayan an. Listen to my voice, let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane'an, ayan an. Uh, I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to... But what just happened? I do not know, April Ann. She did not open a shift. And her clothes... They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world, but I will say this, I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she? And where did she go? Oh, so Zoe's not a shifter. That's interesting. Are we back in Casablanca? It would make sense. Wait. No, it's not Casablanca. Who is that? Wait. Why are we playing as a man? And who is this man? Okay, we need to push again and again. We have only one strategy for fighting. Oh, okay. Again? No? Alright, again. Again. No, we will lose. 
Where will... Oh, okay, that's all right. Another one? And let's go. Block, and now... Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. I'm using light attacks this time. It works fine. But who are they? What's that? No, I can't do better, no. Okay, is this it? I think so. Who are you? Can I talk to you? I'm surprised, Kian. You count yourself among the best, but now you've been defeated by a student. I apologize, Master. I have disappointed you. I shall pray and make sacrifice to the Goddess for guidance. Her light will illuminate my path and guide my sword. Your faith is unquestionable, Kian, and your skill with the sword is unmatched. But the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prowess with a blade should never be confused. Religion and war mix as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics! When did you become a woman? Your hey. dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet! Well, you've never approved of my calling. But I have pledged my life to the Goddess and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the Goddess does not require your protection. And you have pledged your life to the Six, not the Goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this, we will never see eye to eye, Master. I am an Apostle of the Faith, and I have... A thousand pardons, Apostle. Excuse me, Master. Yes, Chilena. The Six require your presence, Apostle. When? Oh. My apologies, Apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. Aminon! Nozan! Into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around. Please, Apostle, we must hurry. Okay. You look like two lovers out for so, a stroll. So, follow me, Apostle. I'm, I'm following. Dance. So, the six aren't gods. These are actual people. I thought it was some sort of religion, the six. And I thought that the goddess was a separate religion. They are waiting, Apostle. I'm trying. Where are they? Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Apostle. Our apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the Initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the East, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, Mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the Goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands, to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Havens, Apostle, and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out, and you must convert him. By the letting of his blood, 
he shall be reborn into the next life, where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the goddess. Find this rebel leader, this scorpion, and let your blade kiss his throat. This is your mission, Kian Alvane. As you please, mistress. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word. Blessed be the mission. Okay. So they're sending this man to kill someone from the rebellion. Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done... The light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the goddess aid the apostle in his mission. The future of our empire rests on his shoulders now. Why are they sending only one person then? Why not send like three people? Just in case. I mean, it would make sense. So we need just to come back here? I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. A cloud ship will take me east across the ocean. I must leave with haste. With haste? I see. Another heathen who needs converting. There's great darkness in this world. Is it not our duty to illuminate the darkness with the light of the goddess? We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. Not so, Kian. You know I'm a man of faith. What I am questioning is our right to impose our faith on others. I've been to these eastern lands and they... And is it not a place full of darkness and sin? Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the goddess? What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder and fear in those lands. But there's also beauty, freedom and humility. And the brightest day has the darkest shadows, Kian. Remember that. I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty? Do only what you yourself believe to be right, and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders, and how you rescued their maidens from a life of sin. May you walk with the goddess, Kian. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Garmon. Okay. So now we know a new character. And we are starting a new <laughs> chapter, apparently. You all right, girl? Where... Where am I? You're still at the Friends. You don't remember? Uh, I don't know. I... Uh, how did I get back here? Back? You haven't moved all night. A couple of guests found you passed out. You were drugged. What? That's what it looks like. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing on them. The crystals were wiped. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine, a doctor. She came by and checked you out. She said you were on some kind of synth, but that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was somewhere else. April, she... What? I met April. April Ryan. I was in Arcadia, the place she spoke about. I was there. So... So I couldn't possibly have been here. Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. No, it 
they were not dreams and it sounds really interesting because as I understand April was able to travel between worlds like her actual body but it sounds like we just sent our projection there that's impossible I was there I spoke with April she was she wasn't very cooperative but I did speak with her all I know is that you've been sleeping right here since we found you you left Emma and me at the table to make a call 20 minutes later some guests found you passed out in the booth they gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry? Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the fringe. I didn't see anyone, but apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident. And he brought two guests. Wait, I remember... part of it. Marcus, the twins. Twins? They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in Casablanca. And they were here last night. So they must have been the ones who drugged you. Maybe. But I don't understand why they didn't just... kill me. I mean, that's the second time they've attacked me. And I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Don't ask too many questions. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still... After all... Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Rez has gotten himself into something really dangerous. Besides, I don't know where to go from here. I might as well head back to Casablanca and wait for Rez to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. But pretty good, considering. Did Emma leave already? Early this morning. She has a show later today in Moscow. I promised I'd keep her updated. So what are you going to tell her? I don't know. What you just told me, I guess. Who knows? Even if it was a dream, maybe you really did speak with April. It felt real enough. I don't know. I need to sort things out in my head. I guess I will go home. I don't feel like crossing paths with Marcus or the twins again. They were probably just trying to scare you. Your friend seems to be onto a pretty big story. Yeah. I just hope that... Ow. You okay, Zoe? Just my head. Yeah, I'm okay. You can stay here as long as you need to. And I can call my doctor friend again. No need to go to a hospital. No. I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. I really appreciate it. No problem, girl. Drop by if you're ever in town again. And keep me updated if you find your friend or if you, if you hear from April. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Charlie. He's such a nice person. Oh, let's check our phone. Hello, hey, Karen from Moka Loka here. Haven't seen you around in a few days. Just wanted to say hi. Hope to see you at the coffee shop soon. There is no one to talk to in the middle of the day anymore. Boo-hoo. Okay, wait. Yeah, we read all of that. That's good. And you know what? I think this is the place where we will finish up for today. I really like this episode. We found out a lot about Arcadia and about April and about Zoe. So I hope you liked it as well and i'll see you next time have a great day bye